Have you ever wondered what it takes to overcome an insurmountable challenge? Today, we delve into the early years of a remarkable journey, that of Sean, a warrior born with cerebral palsy. Born into a world that wasn't designed for him, Sean's story is one of resilience and tenacity. His parents, filled with love and determination, never once let his physical disabilities define his potential. They believed in him, and in turn, Sean believed in himself. In 2006, Sean embarked on his educational journey. Starting at a kindergarten, he was soon introduced to a world of special education, tailored for those with unique needs. Unlike regular classrooms buzzing with numerous students, Sean's class was small, with each student at a different stage of learning. Despite his physical limitations, Sean had a mind that was eager to learn. He could read, and he harbored ambitions of acing major primary school exams. However, his cerebral palsy made it challenging for him to write quickly, and his handwriting was only decipherable by his special education teachers. Undeterred, Sean and his family sought a solution. They proposed the use of a computer for his exams, a request that, thanks to the understanding and dedication of his teachers, was granted. It was a major victory, a testament to Sean's unwavering determination and his teacher's commitment to inclusivity. Yet the challenges didn't stop there. Sean was a sociable soul longing to participate in school activities alongside his peers. Once the eve of a primary school camping trip saw him nearly in tears, upset that he couldn't join his friends. But as with his previous obstacles, this one was also overcome. His teacher granted him permission to attend the camp, adding another beautiful memory to his primary school years. Despite the difficulties, Sean's determination never wavered, and his journey was just beginning. As he moved on from primary school, a new question began to form in his mind. What does university look like? A question that would shape the next phase of his educational journey. Change is often daunting, but for Sean it was another mountain to conquer. In 2014, Sean embarked on a new journey. He transitioned from a special education setting to a mainstream middle school. This was a monumental step, not just for Sean, but for any student with special needs. Sean had to navigate a new environment, new peers, and new academic expectations. It was a challenge that required immense courage and resilience. For the first year, Sean remained in a special education class. But a year later, he was given an opportunity, a three-month trial to learn alongside his typically developing peers. This was a decisive moment for Sean. He was faced with a choice to remain in his comfort zone or to take a leap of faith and embrace the unfamiliar. When the trial period came to an end, his teacher asked him a simple yet profound question. Do you want to continue in the mainstream class or return here? Without hesitation, Sean chose to continue. He was stepping into uncharted territory, a drastic change from the familiar faces and routines of his special education class. Yet, Sean was determined to learn like everyone else, always seeking opportunities to make his classmates smile. His teachers, recognizing his tenacity, extended the same accommodations that had been provided in his earlier years. Sean could use a computer for exams and was given additional time. This support system played a pivotal role in his academic journey. Sean's middle school years were not without difficulties, but his unwavering determination and never give up attitude carried him through. His hard work paid off when he successfully sat for the SPM examination, achieving commendable results that opened the door to higher education. Sean's resilience and determination saw him through middle school, culminating in a successful SPM examination. The stage was set for the next chapter of Sean's journey, a journey that would continue to inspire and motivate every one of us. High school, a crucial stage in any student's life, and for Sean, it was no different. As he stepped into the bustling corridors of his new school in 2014, his journey was set to be a unique one. Sean, despite his physical disability, was no stranger to adversity. His initial year was spent in a special education class, a familiar setting for him. But Sean, with his unyielding spirit, sought to challenge himself further. After a year, an opportunity unfolded. Sean was given a three-month trial to study alongside his peers in the mainstream classes. It was a drastic change, but Sean, with his heart set on learning just like everyone else, embraced it. 
At the end of the three months, when asked if he wanted to continue or return to the special education class, Sean chose to continue. His transition was not without its trials. He missed his friends from the special education class and the comfort it provided. But Sean's determination was unwavering. He kept his focus on his studies and always sought opportunities to make his classmates laugh, lightening the atmosphere. With the support of his compassionate teachers, Sean was again allowed to use a computer for his exams, a privilege he had been granted in his primary school years. This allowed him to fully express his knowledge and understanding, culminating in him successfully passing his SPM exams and earning a place in Form 6. In Form 6, Sean found himself facing yet another challenge. He had to prove his academic prowess in the first semester to be allowed to complete his education there. Despite the pressure, Sean excelled, his results giving him the momentum to push forward. But as the semesters rolled on, the number of students in his class dwindled, leaving only 14 girls and Sean. However, his resolve remained unbroken. Sean's high school years were a testament to his courage and determination, shaping him into a stronger individual. His journey serves as a reminder that it's not about how you start, but how you finish that truly matters. University, a dream for many, was a goal within reach for Sean. This was not a dream born of whimsy or fantasy, but a concrete aspiration forged in the crucible of his life's challenges. As he navigated his way through Form 6, the gateway to his university dream, Sean did so with a sense of anticipation and resolve that was nothing short of inspiring. His teachers, those steadfast pillars of support, were instrumental in preparing Sean for this next stage in his journey. They worked tirelessly to equip him with the skills and knowledge he would need to succeed in the hallowed halls of academia. In return, Sean showed them a dedication and commitment that was truly humbling. In the lead-up to university, Sean approached his studies with a laser-like focus. Every assignment, every examination, was a stepping stone towards his ultimate goal. But it wasn't just about academics. Sean was acutely aware that university was a microcosm of the real world, a place where he would need to navigate social interactions and personal responsibilities alongside his studies. So, he prepared himself for that too with the same tenacity that he applied to his academics. Despite the challenges that lay ahead, Sean's determination never wavered. If anything, it only intensified. He knew that to reach his dream, he would need to harness every ounce of his resilience and grit. And so he did, moving forward with an unwavering belief in his abilities. As he stood on the precipice of his university journey, Sean looked ahead with a mixture of excitement and anticipation. He knew that the path would not be easy, that there would be obstacles and trials along the way, but he was ready. He had prepared himself both academically and personally for this moment, and he was determined to seize it with both hands. Sean's story is a testament to the power of determination, resilience, and an unwavering belief in oneself. The journey of a warrior is not defined by the battles won, but by the courage to keep fighting. As we look back on Sean's journey, we can see a story of resilience, determination and unwavering spirit. Born with cerebral palsy, Sean's path was not a conventional one, but it was his path, and he walked it with grace and tenacity. Sean's early education was tailored to his unique needs. His special education classes were small, personalized, and offered him the support he needed to thrive. His teachers recognized his talents and with their help, he was able to take exams using a computer, overcoming his difficulty with writing. In middle school, Sean faced a significant transition. He was given the chance to learn alongside his peers in a regular classroom, an opportunity he seized with both hands. Though he initially missed his friends from his special education class, Sean pressed forward, always eager to learn and grow. High school brought new challenges. Sean was expected to keep up with his classmates and he did, with the help of his dedicated teachers who gave him the same accommodations as before. Sean's hard work paid off when he excelled in his exams and earned a spot in sixth form, a testament to his determination and academic prowess. Finally came the dream of university. For Sean, sixth form was the stepping stone to higher education, 
a place where he could apply the knowledge and skills he had acquired over the years. Sean proved his mettle once again, performing well in his first semester and earning the chance to complete his studies. His university years were marked by triumphs and trials, but Sean pressed on, his warrior spirit undeterred. Sean's journey is one of perseverance and courage. From his early education to his university graduation, he has shown us that challenges are not roadblocks, but stepping stones to greatness. Sean's story serves as an inspiration for all, a reminder that no challenge is too great if one has the courage to face it head on. Have you ever wondered how challenging it could be to overcome the hurdles of university life? Our story begins in the year 2020, when Sean, a bright young lad with cerebral palsy, found himself stepping into the vast arena of university life. It was a world brimming with opportunities yet fraught with challenges. As fate would have it, the pandemic hit and the bustling campus life was replaced with online lectures and virtual interactions. Sean, like his peers, had to adapt to this new normal. The transition was not easy. The once vibrant classrooms were now replaced with screens, and the camaraderie of fellow students was now limited to chat boxes. But Sean was not one to be deterred. He took the challenges in stride, understanding that adaptability was the key to survival in this new world. But as we all know, university life is not just about lectures and assignments, it's a test of one's ability to manage time effectively. As a student, Sean had to juggle between attending online classes, completing assignments, and participating in extracurricular activities. It was a task that demanded discipline and dedication. Yet, amidst all this, Sean found time to contribute to student management. He was an active participant in program management, often lending a helping hand wherever needed. His leadership skills did not go unnoticed, as he was soon elected president of the Disabled Students Club. It was a role he embraced wholeheartedly, striving to make a difference in the lives of his peers. His journey was not without struggles, but Sean was not one to give up. He believed in the power of perseverance and the strength of will. He understood that facing challenges was part of the journey, shaping one's personality and making them braver. Despite the hurdles, Sean was resolute. His journey at the university was just beginning. Can you imagine the anticipation Sean must have felt when returning to campus after the pandemic? For two long years, the vibrancy of campus life had been supplanted by the cold glow of a computer screen. The university's once bustling corridors and classrooms reduced to mere pixels. But for Sean, this return wasn't just a homecoming, it was a leap into a new challenge. He had been selected for the final round of the Young Disability Challenge, a competition conducted online over eight weeks culminating in a finale at a foreign university. This was no ordinary challenge. It was a platform for disabled students across the country, a chance for them to rise above their circumstances to inspire and to be inspired. Imagine the excitement, the thrill of competition, the nerves, the prospect of boarding a plane, of experiencing a new culture, of meeting fellow warriors from all walks of life. It was an adventure, a test and a celebration rolled into one. Sean had always believed that challenges shape a person, that they mold character and breed courage. The Young Disability Challenge was a test of his resolve, his spirit and his determination to rise above his disability. But this wasn't just about winning a competition, it was about proving to himself and to the world that his disability was not a hurdle, but a stepping stone to greater heights. It was about showing that no matter the odds, no matter the difficulties, a strong will and a fighting spirit can conquer all. This was Sean's return to campus, not just a return to classrooms and lecture halls, but a return to the battlefield a return to the arena where he was not just a student, but a warrior. The challenge was not just an opportunity for Sean, but a stepping stone to greater heights. This was Sean's mantra. This was his journey. And as we'll see, this was just the beginning of an incredible adventure. Do you ever reflect on how your university experience shaped you? Sean's year on campus was a testament to his growing independence. It was a whirlwind of sweet moments, of laughter and learning, that he'll always hold dear. Every experience, Every challenge, every triumph, was a stepping stone to the man he is today. Sean's life at university was more than just attending lectures and passing exams. It was about building relationships and forging lifelong friendships. His friends never overlooked him, despite his disability. Instead, they celebrated his tenacity, his spirit, and his unwavering resolve. They were there for him, 
helping him navigate the campus, accompanying him back to his residence after classes and even taking him out for leisurely strolls. These experiences, these bonds, they were integral in shaping Sean's future. But it wasn't just his friends who played a pivotal role in his journey. The university, as an institution, was instrumental in molding Sean into a more independent individual. It gave him a platform to explore his potential and to challenge himself. It offered him opportunities to participate in management programs, and even led him to the prestigious position of president of the university's Disability Student Club. These experiences didn't just enrich Sean's university life, they also prepared him for the world beyond the campus. They taught him valuable life skills like time management, leadership, and resilience. They equipped him with the confidence to face challenges head-on, and the courage to step out of his comfort zone. Sean's journey was not just about overcoming physical challenges, but also about breaking down societal barriers. His story is a testament to the power of determination and the strength of the human spirit. It's a reminder that we are not defined by our limitations, but by our potential. The university was more than just a place of learning for Sean, it was a place of growth and transformation. Do you ever pause to appreciate those who have helped you along your journey? It's a question that Sean often ponders. Gratitude, after all, is a cornerstone of his nature. Every step of his journey has been marked by the kindness and support of others, and he acknowledges the impact they have had on his life. His teachers, for instance, have been instrumental in shaping his academic and personal development. They have not only imparted knowledge, but also instilled confidence and resilience in him. They have taught him to see his disability not as an impediment, but as a unique perspective, a strength. For their unwavering belief in his potential, Sean is deeply grateful. Then there's the Disability Management Center at his university. They've been a beacon of support, ensuring that Sean's university experience is as fulfilling and inclusive as possible. From providing accessible facilities to arranging special transportation for him, they've gone above and beyond to make sure Sean's needs are met. Their dedication to empowering students with disabilities is something Sean greatly appreciates. And let's not forget his friends, the ones who've been by his side through thick and thin. They've been his cheerleaders, his shoulders to lean on, his sources of laughter and joy. They've accepted him for who he is, and in doing so, have taught him the value of true friendship. His gratitude towards them is boundless. But it's not just about acknowledging the help we've received, it's also about recognizing the strength within ourselves, the courage to face challenges, the determination to overcome obstacles, the resilience to keep going even when the odds are stacked against us. Sean's journey is a testament to this inner strength, to his unyielding spirit. Sean knew his journey was not a solitary one. He was always surrounded by people who cared for him and supported him. And for that, he is eternally grateful. For it is through their support and his own perseverance that he has come this far and will continue to forge ahead, embodying the true spirit of a warrior. Can you imagine the feeling of holding your university degree in your hands? That's the story of Sean, a warrior in his own right. As he held his diploma, etched with the date, the 12th of December 2023, his heart swelled with a cocktail of emotions. It was a testament to his tireless commitment, a testament to his sheer willpower, and more importantly, a testament to his undying optimism. Graduation day was a day of jubilation, a day of gratitude, a day that marked the end of a chapter, and the beginning of another. Amidst the sea of black graduation gowns and mortarboards, Sean stood out, not because of his physical condition, but because of the radiant smile that graced his face, a smile that spoke volumes of his triumphant journey. As Sean's name was called, applause echoed through the hall. The cheers and claps however were not just for Sean's academic achievement, they were for his grit, his resilience, his indomitable spirit that refused to bow down to life's adversities. Sean's journey was not a solitary one. Alongside him were his family, his teachers, his friends, all of whom had been his pillars of strength. He owed his success to his parents who never ceased to push him to reach for the stars, his teachers who saw beyond his disability and recognized his potential, his friends who stood by him, lending their support and companionship when he needed it the most. His journey was also a journey of faith, faith in himself, faith in his abilities, and faith in the divine. Even in the face of exhaustion, Sean believed that there was a higher power, watching over him, providing him with the strength he needed to forge ahead. Sean's journey is a testament to the power of determination and courage. He is a reminder to all of us that we should never fear our circumstances, 
but fear if we do not grow from them.